Ashley Miller, the 2017 Ferris to the Fair. I'm happy to be here. And we have Levi Dolmas with us to talk about his GOAT project. So Levi, how long have you been in 4-H? Um, probably since I was like seven-ish. Seven? How old are you now? <laughs> I'm 14. Okay, so about seven years. Awesome. So what did you do this year to get ready for the fair? Um, well, you have to pack everything and, um, for chickens, well, this is goats, never mind. Um, for goats, so you just have to bathe them and clip their hair. I show meat goats, so it's not as much clipping compared to like a dairy goat that you have to trim their hair shorter. Um, you trim their hooves to make them stand even. Um, yeah, you just make them look neat. Make them look neat and good yeah. for the judges, awesome. Yeah. What is your favorite part about the fair? Um, I probably, I like just, hanging out in the barn. I don't know. I don't really go out and look at <laughs> much. I don't like rides. So, um, yeah, just hanging out in the barn. Awesome. And lastly, what is your goat's name? Um, my two goat's names are Axel and Aspen. Axel and Aspen. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. I'm here in the pig barn, and I have two of our wonderful 4-H members here. We have Caden Nicklaus and Morgan Phipps with us. So we're going to ask them some questions about what they do to prepare for, prepare for the fair, what their favorite part of the fair is, and how they get their pigs ready. So, Caden, how long have you been in 4-H? I've been in 4-H for seven years, showing pigs all seven years. Awesome. Okay, what's your favorite part about showing pigs? Uh, I just love the competition. I'm pretty competitive guy, so <laughs> I like going out there and competing. Good, good. So what's your pig's name this year? Uh, my pig's name this year is Sugar. Sugar? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So what have you done this summer to prepare for the fair? I've gone out there walking the pigs every day for probably the last two months. Morning and night, we go out there and do chores. We feed them. Feed, the feeding's just kind of like an experiment. You feed them all sorts of different stuff just to try and improve them. So it's a lot of fun. Does Sugar have a favorite food? She likes Oreos. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. All right, Morgan, so how long have you been in Forage? I've been in Forage also seven years. Seven years? Aw, how cute. <laughs> and have you shown pigs all seven years? Yep. Okay, awesome. So what did you do this year to get ready for the fair? Um, about the same thing Caden's done. Past two months out there, twice a day, walking them, spraying them down with a hose, just trying to work with them and get them friendly. So ready for the fair. <laughs> and what's your pig's name? Um, I guess according to my brother its name is Toothy. <laughs> so Toothy. That's yeah. awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. Okay and then a little non-related pig. What is your favorite part of the fair? My favorite part of the fair is probably the fair food. The I'm, food? The food's the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay what's your favorite type of food? Uh, I like the 4-H stand early in the morning after doing chores. It's always great breakfast. Definitely, definitely. They have good malts. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite part of the fair, Morgan? Um, I don't know, just the whole being here in the competitions. It's, it's great. It's all okay. Good. Do you have a favorite fair food? Um, probably the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Ooh, that's the first I've heard. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for sharing your experience with us. All right, I am here with Tyler Keys. We are in the sheep barn. So, Tyler, how long have you been in 4-H? Uh, about 10 years. 10 years, awesome. So I see you've got your sheep here. Um, how did you do this morning? Uh, I took grand overall market lamb and grand overall senior showman. Awesome, that's really good, that's awesome. So what all went into earning that? Um, well, we get them around February, well, they're born February 1st, then from there we raise them on uh, the one was 136 pounds, so it's gained about 110 pounds since we got them. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Taking the shows all around. Awesome. So what all goes on in the ring? Uh, well, the judge brings you in from one of the sides. You walk around the ring to give an uh, end profile, and he makes you walk around and give a side profile, and all the while he's watching the structure of your sheep to make sure they're sound, and he feels them to make sure the muscle is good. Awesome, good. So then from there, where do they go? Uh, well, he'll dismiss them by first place, second place, third place. So if you leave the ring first or get pulled out first, it's either a bad thing or a good thing, depending on the judge, so you don't really know. <laughs> awesome. So what about the meat animal sale? Uh, what about it? So your sheep. 
So since they won, are they going to be in it? Uh, yeah, I'll be selling. I'll be the first lamb selling tonight. Awesome, cool. So right now they're just kind of resting, chilling out. They've got blankets on them. What does that do for them? Uh, it's just to keep them cool, keep them clean, keep the fungus off them. Awesome, cool. So great job today. We enjoyed talking with you. Thank you very much. We are here in the dairy barn with Savannah Ridge and Adam Bindle. So Savannah, how long have you been in 4-H? Six years. Six years, awesome. Have you been showing dairy that whole time? Yes. Okay, awesome. So can you tell us maybe like a fun fact about dairy? They can smell up to six miles away. They can smell up to six miles away, that's impressive. So kind of what is a day in the life of a dairy cow? Um, they basically just sleep, eat, and lay down. They sleep, eat, and lay down. Awesome. How, how much do cows sleep usually? I don't know. <laughs> a lot? A lot. I'd say easily hike half the day, they lay down. Okay, gotcha, awesome. And then, when it's not fair time, what are you doing with your dairy cows? Um, you wash them, when it, like coming up to the fair, you wash them every day, you walk them, and yeah. Awesome, all right. Adam, how long have you been in 4-H? I've been in 4 this is my second year showing. Awesome, so what do you have to do to get ready to show? Um, I get ready, I feed them, I wash them every day, walk them every day, and then when it's fair time, you do the top line and fill them and wash them. Awesome. Okay, so what's your favorite part about the fair? Getting them ready. Getting them ready? How come? Because you get, it's just, I like doing the top line. Awesome. And then, do you like being in the ring and showing them? Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Awesome. All right, well, that was a look into our dairy barn. Thank you, guys. We are here in the beef barn with Tori Colway. So Tori, your steer took grand champion today. Can you tell us a little bit about your steer? Well, this is my steer Milo, and obviously I've worked with him all summer. Lots of hard work. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. So what did you have to do to prepare him for the fair? So every morning we take him for a walk, and we wash him, and we blow him out nice and dry, and you teach him how to stand for hours upon hours so they don't get too crabby on show day. <laughs> awesome, and then you also took showmanship grand yeah. champion. So tell the public a little bit about what showmanship is and how you took Grand Champion. So showmanship is a little more than just having a nice animal. You actually have to know how to show, how to um, talk to the people, how to like make your animal look presentable at all times. So every night we put the show halters on, we take them for a walk, and you do it so you can walk right into it like the judge said. <laughs> awesome. And then this is your last year in 4-H, yeah. correct? Sadly. All right. Yeah. <laughs> So what has been your most memorable part of the whole thing? Probably this year. This is the best I've ever done. So taking Grand and Grand in the showmanship. and That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, you've had a lot of success. It's really great to see. So last thing, what, have you, what are you going to take away from all your years in 4-H? What have you learned? The hard work is worth it. <laughs> the hard work is worth it. Awesome. Thank you so much. We are here again in the beef farm. We are with Leona Meyer. So, Leona, your animal made the meat animal sale today, correct? Yes. So, what what happens at the meat animal sale? Well, what happens at the meat animal sale is each exhibitor gets to bring in their animal and the auction uh, bidders bid on the animal. Okay. So then, when your animal gets sold, what happens? Well, <laughs> uh, it's a lot of action, really. There's a large crowd, you know, people are flashing cameras. Signs go up. It's really, it's just uh, quite the experience. And then after you get your picture taken with the buyer, and uh, you get the check later. Awesome. So then, I mean, what do you do with that money? Yeah, well, with the money, it goes primarily for college. Uh, I, I mean, I'm a senior this year, so I'll be going to college next year. Uh, I'd like to attend South Dakota State University for agricultural communications. Awesome. Uh, so primarily, most of the money goes towards that. Awesome. Awesome. So how many years have you been in 4-H then? For about nine years now. Nine years. That's awesome. So, last thing, what is different about your steer than some of the other steers in this barn? Well, since these are Holsteins, their breed is known to have shorter hair. So, really, before the fair, a lot of prep work is before we even take the animals here versus, like, the beef cattle that have most of the prep work 
before the show. So for example, we shave their heads, their tails, and um, their lower stomach to give them a better appearance. Okay, awesome. And I also see your steer has a pretty great name. What's its name? Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy. <laughs> awesome, a little Harry Potter theme going on. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. We're here in the horse barn with Diane and Lena. So you guys, can you tell me about a little bit about your relationship together? Um, her mom actually babysat me when I was a kid and then as we grew up I started to babysit her and she kind of just grew into the horse part with me. And Lena, what do you do with Diane? Um, ride her horse, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and what is, what is that called? You'd be my... HHG. Meeting. Meeting. Um, horseless. Horseless horse groom. Got it. Awesome. So how long have you been in 4-H? This is my first year. Your first year? Awesome. And how many years were you in 4-H? Nine. Um, nine or so, yeah. Nine. <laughs> awesome. What's your horse's name? Jules. Jules. Awesome. Her real name is Juliet, but everyone calls her Jules. <laughs> Good nickname. It works. So what kind of showing do you do? Uh, showmanship and trail in hand. So what, what goes on during that? Uh, showmanship, you have to be all prim and proper, which is really hard sometimes. Um, you walk and chat, and you get judged. And in trail and hand, you go over, like, ground poles, and um, you open a gate. It's awesome. Awesome. So what is your favorite part about showing jewels? Uh, just... Um... Is that I get to do it with her? Because she with Diane. <laughs> that's awesome. Aww, that's so sweet. <laughs> so, what do you have to do to get Jules ready for showing? Practice almost every day, the first two weeks before fair, almost. Awesome. <laughs> and then, lastly, what's your favorite part of the whole fair? Uh, Jules. Jules. <laughs> Aww, how sweet. All right. Thank you guys so much.